Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up voting on your Bungie Cord network using the plugins Voting Plugin and New Votifier. So, let's get straight into it. Before we go ahead with this tutorial, you'll need to make sure you have a Bungie Cord network set up. If you don't know how to do this, go to this link in the description and you'll be able to learn how to set up a Bungie Cord network so that you can set up voting on it afterwards. So once you have a Bungie Cord network set up, you can continue with this tutorial. So the first step of this tutorial is to install New Votifier on all of the servers, including Bungie Cord. So you'll need to download this onto your computer. So click the download now button, then save. And there'll be a link to this plugin down in the description below. Once it's downloaded, let's go ahead and upload it to every single server inside of the plugins folder. Then once it's uploaded, restart the server. And again, go ahead and do this on all of your servers. So once you've done that, we can now start configuring new Votifier. So if you go back to your Bungie Cord proxy server and refresh, you should see a folder called new Votifier appear. So before we go into this, I want you to click the My Server tab and then we're going to open a notepad file. So here we're just going to add a couple of notes that we need that will help during the setup of this plugin. So you'll need the IP address for your server. So that's the part here and you'll need the first set of numbers. So the first set of numbers are the set of numbers before the colon. So if you just copy everything and then paste it into the notepad file and then remove the last set of digits after the colon. And then we're just going to lay this out nicely so we can understand what's going on. And then next we're going to need to get an extra port. So as you can see, premium servers come with two extra ports to use and you do need one of these for Votifier. So I'm going to use the first one. We're just going to copy that and paste it here as well. And then whilst I've got the notepad file open, I'm going to go ahead and do this for each of my servers. So now that I have the IP address and port for each of my servers, we can go ahead and start configuring new Votifier correctly. So go back to the Bungie Cord server once again, go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, and then open the new Votifier folder. And then in here, there's a config.yml file, so open that. And then we're going to be editing these first two settings. So for the host, we're going to put the IP address for the Bungie Cord server. So just highlight that and copy it from the notepad file. And then we're also going to be putting the same port which we noted down in the notepad file. So now that we've entered that, we can go ahead and scroll down a little bit and you'll see a thing here called method. So you'll need to change this from non to proxy. And then once you've done that, we can scroll down a bit further and you can see here there's a setting for proxy. So this is where we specify the servers to forward or proxy votes for. So as you can see, it's just got a default layout now and we're going to be changing this. So here you need to add every server that you have on your network, which you want to forward votes to. So I want to forward votes to my lobby server first and we're going to enter the IP address we grabbed in the notepad file. And then again, we're going to be getting the port. and then add any other servers that are on your network too. So once you've added all of this information, you can click save and restart the server. So once you've set up new Votifier on your Bungie Cord server, we can go ahead and set it up on our Spigot servers. So if you go to the control panel for one of your Spigot servers that are connected to your Bungie Cord network, then go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder and then open the Votifier folder. Then inside of here, you'll see a config.yml file. And it looks similar to the Bungie Cord one. So we're going to be updating the host with the correct IP address and the port. So go back to the notepad file and I'm on my lobby server. So I'm going to be copying my lobby server IP address. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it in this host address. And then I'm also going to be copying the extra ports. So we'll paste that there. 
Then whilst we're in this file, we're also going to grab the token for this server. So if you just go down here where it says tokens and next to default, we're going to copy it. So just highlight that and copy it. And then we're going to paste it into the notepad file just so we have it later on in the tutorial. So once you've got all that information and set the host and port, click save and restart your server. And do this to all the servers that you also have in your Bungie Core network and want to set up Votifier on. So now that I've set up new Votifier up on all of my servers, including Bungie Cord, I'm going to install a voting plugin. So you need to install this plugin on just your Spigot servers. So download it, and then go to the Spigot servers, and then go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, upload file, and choose files, and then select votingplugin.jar and upload that. Then once it's uploaded, restart the server. And again, do this to all of your Spigot servers that are within your Bungie Cord network. So once you've installed Votin plugin, go back to your Bungie Cord server. And again, go to the config.yml in new Votifier. And then scroll down to the bottom of the file. And you'll see where we added the servers earlier. So you'll see a setting called token, which we didn't edit. So if you go to the notepad file, you'll need to grab the tokens, which we grabbed from the Spigot servers when we were editing their configs. So you'll need to copy it and apply the right token to each server. So once you've copied these tokens, click save, restart your server. And then once you've done all of this, you should be able to join your Bungie Cord server and send votes successfully. So if I go ahead and join my Bungie Cord server, and then if I run the command slash plugins, you should see voting plugin and votifier show up in green. That means they're working. So fantastic. So let's run a test vote. So if you go to this website called mctools.org forward slash votifier dash tester, there'll also be a link to this down in the description below. We can enter some details to run a test vote. So let's enter my username, which is racerk12 and then we're going to enter the IP address for the Bungie Cord server. So let's grab that from the notepad we made, and then we're going to add the port for the server too, which is the extra port for Votifier. So we're going to copy that. And then we also need this thing called the public key. So to access this, go to your Bungie Cord server in the control panel, click FTP, click on this link here at the bottom, and it should open a web page similar to this. Click plugins, click new Votifier, click RSA and then click public.key and it should open this file with loads of characters in. So we're just going to copy every single one of these and we're going to paste it into this public key section. And then once we've done that, check all this information is correct. So let's just double check that. Yep, that looks correct. And then click send test vote. And you can see the vote came through instantly and I'm currently on my lobby server. So if I was to change to my faction server, so as you can see, I've just joined this server and it voted on that as well and the vote came through successfully. So if you have any questions or run into any problems at all, please contact our support team. If you go to our website, you can see a support tab at the top, click message us and our support team will get back to you and help you with any issues. If you message down in the comments below, it can take a while for us to get back to you and we will often refer you to our support team for help. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.